Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And today we're going to be comparing three different Ravencoin mining pools in terms of like just how much Ravencoin do you actually get by mining on those pools because it can actually vary between pools. And guess what? This video is actually sponsored and it's sponsored by minerpool.org. They are actually gonna do a giveaway of a thousand raven coin which <laughs> that's actually quite a lot right now uh, that you could win so stay tuned for later in the video when i'm gonna explain more in detail how that works but basically what we're gonna be doing in this video is i'm gonna take minerpool.org uh, who actually contacted me saying that they have a new sort of payout system you know uh, that is different from other pools and they felt so confident that their payout system would mean more Ravencoin for the people mining on their pool that they said try it put us against other pools and compare your results and so I was like okay that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing so I'm going to take minerpool.org and two other uh, Ravencoin mining pools and I'm going to stick one 3060 to mine to each pool. And after, I guess, a few days, I haven't decided how long yet. Maybe, maybe we'll do 72 hours again, because that was kind of a good number for the uh, Ravencoin Light video, wasn't it? So yeah, let's put those three 3060s to mine to different pools. And after 72 hours, we'll compare uh, on which pool um, I made the most Ravencoins, basically. So let's get that all set up and let's get going. All right, so here is how I have it all set up. I have three of these identical Asus 3060s and they are all hooked up here on my little test rig. And we're using a um, one to four splitter that we got from Red Panda Mining. Thank you so much. Um, in order to plug all three GPUs in because this little M80X board doesn't have enough PCIe slots. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just running three instances of T-Rex, one for each GPU, and they are all mining two different pools. But let's jump on over into the computer and I'll show you how I've got that set up properly. All right, so here we are on the computer and this is what I mean um, that I'm doing. So I'm running T-Rex three times and you can see hash rates are pretty much the same they move around a little bit on all of these but to me they seem to be around the same point on all i know it looks like this middle one is a little bit slower than the other ones right now but that one was a little bit faster earlier so they're all kind of around 22.4 mega hash and so the three pools that i am comparing is going to be two miners uh fly pool aka ethermine and minerpool.org basically and so just a few things um, to start us off with is I know I know it looks like I have three invalid shares already on minor pool but I was kind of messing with my overclock setting so let's let's disregard that for now and I'll keep an eye on it and just see what happens throughout these 72 hours or however long we're mining on in this experiment but also something else I noticed is on two miners I've only <laughs> been able to, to submit two shares so far while on flypool we're at 31 and on minerpool.org we're at 64 valid shares submitted and I mean to be honest I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't think that you know uh, we're gonna be paid 30 times more on um, minerpool.org than on two miners it's probably just got to do with the difficulty of the shares so I, I wouldn't pay too much attention to that either uh, it was just a fun thing to see kind of that how different they they are but so let me show you how I've got this set up uh, in my batch files so if I come in here I basically got three Raven batch files here that I'm all running at the same time and so if I open and edit these, what I've done is basically, I've just entered the pool address, my sort of throwaway wallet address, and then I'm selecting which GPUs I'm using for each batch file. So I got 
device number zero on two miners. I've got device number one on flight pool and I've got device number two on uh, minerpool.org. So that is how I'm mining to the three different pools from the same system. And so now let's, uh, let's have a little look at our pools uh, just to get us started. Uh, I've been mining for, I don't know, just like 15 minutes or something probably. Oh, we should be able to see how long actually. Um, yeah, 12 minutes and 33 seconds it looks like. So let's open up our browser here. And we got good old fly pool. We got good old two miners and we have minerpool.org. All right, so this is the part of the video where I tell you about minerpool.org and what makes it different from other mining pools and in particular for this video, other Ravencoin mining pools. So minerpool.org uses a different payout system as I mentioned earlier in the video and it is called PPTS as in pay per time frame shares. So basically the way this works and i'll leave a link for this uh, medium article that they've written about it uh, but the way it works is that basically for every round the pool checks what your average hash rate has been for the last you know round basically uh, or, or rather it checks what your average hash rate has been for the last 24 hours of which you've been mining to the pool and then pays you accordingly to your hash rate rather than how other um, payout systems work with uh, like uh, paper lost in shares and, and stuff like that. I just thought that was really cool and a interesting way of like doing it differently. And there's also a second thing that they do differently, which is they have a loyalty program running. So this just seems to be something that they run from time to time where it's basically well it's it's basically just the pool pushing more raven coin to their miners um so what they've done is they've set up a i guess bounty or whatever of 8000 raven coins currently and the way it works is for each 100 mega hash that you provide on the pool you get an extra 9 raven coin every 24 hours and that is actually a ratio. So you don't need to like have at least 100 mega hash to, in order to get this extra um, like loyalty reward. Uh, it, the way it works is like if you have 50 mega hash, then you get four and a half uh, extra Raven coins per day. If you have 100, you get nine extra Raven coin. If you have 200, you get 18 extra Raven coin per day. I just thought that was a really cool thing of a pool to do where they're basically just donating extra coin to their miners just really cool honestly but so yeah i believe that is everything that i wanted to tell you about minerpool.org for now now what do you say we jump into the future where i've been mining to these three different pools and we can see the difference in rewards on the three pools and i will also be telling you about how you can um, participate and potentially win these thousand raven coins that minerpool.org is giving away so stick around for that all right so i guess welcome to the future because it has been a full week now actually so i have been running these three 3060s on one pool each for a full week and i am very excited to bring you the results of this so up on the screen now we've got uh, our results for minerpool.org which as you can see here we mined a full 160.19 raven coins in this week and then we've got two miners where we mined a total of 152.11 plus we've also got an unpaid balance still of 7.72 and then finally we got fly pool where we mined 155 point 72 raven coin so yeah i'll put the totals up on the on the screen somewhere uh, while i talk a little bit just about my personal experience with minerpool.org because it, it was it was actually a bit exciting so what happened was the very first day i started mining 
I immediately sort of started seeing my balance increase on both two miners and fly pool, but on minerpool.org, it stayed at zero for almost like a full 24 hours to the point where I contacted the, the, the you know, the people at minerpool.org and asked what is going on. And basically what they said was because their pool is a, you know, on the smaller side when it comes to, you know, Ravencoin mining pools, at least compared to like two miners and flight pool. Uh, so so what, what happens there is your, your payouts um, only actually show up whenever the pool hits a block which for these you know massive pools like two miners and fly pool you know they hit blocks sort of constantly however you only get a small small fraction of each block because there are so many people mining on those pools however with minerpool.org you know they might only hit a few blocks every day currently um, but each time they do you get a much bigger chunk of that block reward because there are you know fewer people on that pool but just because of that you know and that, that's also when i realized doing such a short experiment of just 72 hours wouldn't be fair because you know uh, minerpool.org might have very good luck for those three days and then all of a sudden you know it comes out way well ahead of the other pools uh, or the opposite you know it, it could have terrible luck which actually is what happened uh, you know like they didn't hit a single block for i think almost a full 24 hours or something like that when i started mining which was why you know for the first whole day i saw like zero in my pending balance like it looked like i didn't make any raven coin mining to that pool but then what happened is they kind of just started hitting blocks again with sort of like normal luck and um, yeah then the balance you know went up as expected and taking that into account the fact that minerpool.org still ended up on top even though it had really terrible luck in the beginning of this comparison like it, it makes me think yes this is my, just my subjective opinion right now that minerpool.org is let me make sure I, I phrase this correctly right um you you are more subjected to luck in the short term mining to this pool but in the long term it seems to me that it is a more profitable pool just based on this experiment that i've done here and also based on you know reading a little bit about how their payout policy work either way it's a very interesting pool definitely and just with how they really seem to be taking care of their miners it was very it, that's also a thing like it was very easy to change like your custom payout threshold i really like how they run these like loyalty programs from time to time just to kind of reward their miners for mining on their pool like it's it's little things like that that make you choose a pool over another pool i guess and i mean plus they came out on top in my comparison so there's there's that as well <laughs> now before we wrap this video up i want to tell you how you can be part of the giveaway where we are giving away a thousand raven coins to you guys so that's the giveaway that is sponsored by minerpool.org and how we're gonna do this is I think we're gonna give 500 Raven coins to two different winners. So 500 Raven coin each there. And how you can participate in this giveaway is you have to mine to minerpool.org. So what you have to do is start mining on minerpool.org and leave your Raven coin address in the comments below. So what I'll do about a week from now is I'll go onto one of those like random comments picker and I'll pick a random comment and you know see the Ravencoin address in there and then I'll double check that you have been mining to that Ravencoin address on minerpool.org and if you have then we will send you 500 Ravencoin plus once more for a second winner so we'll do that in a video sometime next week 
and yeah that will be how to participate in that giveaway but if you've enjoyed this video if it's been helpful to you then please give the video one of these i'd really appreciate it and what you got to do now is you got to click on that next video on the screen because this video is over you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that but yeah go click on that next video and i'll see you there goodbye bye bye